Hey, I'm Lothar, a streamer and a pro player for G2 Esports and today I would like to show you how my streaming setup looks like. So here, behind this door, you will find the heart of my operation. Let's start with what you see at the first sight. I'm using three monitors because I'm using a dual PC setup. Uh, so up top you have the 35 inch AOC gaming monitor, uh, which is a widescreen of course. The purpose of that is so I can see the chat, the ground control from stream elements for the notifications and my OBS at the same time. And I have all you know, needed information to reach of my hand. Then below you have the two gaming monitors. Uh, which are 240 uh, refresh rate from AOC to 25 inches each and basically that's for well you know gaming on the left I have my game on the right I do have like something else that I need an example either it's a separate chat that I have duplicated from from the upper monitor or anything else that I will need for our current game that I'm playing at the moment um, now as I said I'm running a dual PC setup hidden on the left I have two PCs uh, and then they are, by the way, with their rear side pointed out to me. So I have all the cables outside and with an ease, ease of access so I can change everything that I want at every single time. Within seconds, basically if I want to just plug in something on a USB and so on. Uh, it's not pretty, the cable management is a mess right now, but it's very just convenient. And that's my daughter, by the way. The gaming PC is an i7-7700K CPU with a NVIDIA 1080 Ti graphic card. Um, currently a very good PC for almost everything. Uh, since I'm not streaming from the same PC, it's not as stressed out as a single PC setup. So I don't really need a better CPU, although I'm thinking about it and maybe I'm going to upgrade to an i9 in the near future. Uh, the second PC, which is the streaming PC, uses an i9-7900X CPU, which is a beast and I can uh, stream from it on X264 codec on medium speed, which looks fantastically uh, good on Twitch. Even with like, you know, 6K bitrate, you're definitely going to deliver a high quality video. Uh, since I'm using a two PC setup, I need to transfer audio and video from the gaming PC to the streaming PC. And I do that by using the Elgato 4K60. Previously, I was using an MDI, which is basically an Ethernet cable, and it shoots the, uh, the signal through the local LAN, uh, but unfortunately it wasn't as reliable as the Elgato. So I'm using the Elgato right now and I'm super happy about it. Uh, it's, uh, it's being used through a pass-through. So basically what I'm doing is I'm using the signal from the GPU on the gaming, mont uh, gaming PC that is being pushed through the Elgato, then pushed through the monitor and then goes back to the streaming PC. So I don't have to worry about resolution changes and refresh rates because Typically, it's a pain in the ass you know, when, when you want to, an example, duplicate a monitor or do any other complicated stuff with a 2PC gaming setup. So um, this might sound complicated, but it's actually the easiest solution when you have a monitor that has more than 60 uh, Hz refresh rate. Um, apart from that, I'm using a something that is very important in my setup, a Helicon Go XLR mixer which is right here. That's a piece of equipment that I'm very happy with. It's a recent upgrade for me. Uh, previously, I was using an, a normal audio mixer with a separate compressor, noise gate, and so on. A lot of cables, a lot of just, you know, hardware sitting on the desk, which was taking up space and clattering everything. Uh, but now with the Helicon, I'm able to deliver basically everything that I need within just one box. So that's a fantastic preamp, a Midas preamp, which uh, works well with the Shure SM7B, which is the main microphone. Uh, it has virtual cables, so I can route whatever I want through whatever I want. So I can even play music through Discord, an example, to my teammates if I want to. It has a looper, it has effects, it has a blooper or beeper, whatever you want to call it. Um, basically everything that I want. It's fantastic. And it's an equipment that I recommend to everyone who wants to stream or just record audio. Next to it, you have two Elgato stream decks, which I use to control soundboards and uh, scene changes, playing ads, uh, putting markers, or everything that I want to just put in the OBS. 
Uh, I'm using two since I have one is attached to the gaming PC, the second one is attached to the streaming PC. It's very handy and convenient, by the way. People are always wondering why the Stream Deck might be even a good purchase, but because of the fact that it's fully prog programmable, you have a lot of macro functions as well, and it has the custom LCD on each button, you will never forget what you need, and it has like infinite almost numbers of, of buttons that you can use. So I'm very happy with both of them. Now, when it comes to the microphone already mentioned, it's a Shure SM7B, a high-grade microphone that almost every single studio or streamer in the world, in the world uses. Uh, it's a quiet microphone, which requires a powerful preamp. As I said, the preamp in the GoXLR is the Midas, which works perfectly well with the Shure, uh, delivers very uh, rich and just, you know, good sound in general when it comes to streaming, and it just sounds good. So that's about it. The microphone is just... It, it, it just does the job well. I have also a backup microphone, which is the Blue Blackout, on a separate mic arm, which I can attach with the GoXLR um, in any second. It requires a different equalizer setup, but I have a second profile from it, from it, so if anything happens to my first microphone, I can just switch to this one in, in a second, basically. All right, now let's go to, you know, what every single PC user has, which is the keyboard and the mouse. I'm using Logitech uh, G Pro keyboard, which is a small keyboard. It's, um, it's mechanical, what can you say? It's pretty simple, but it's reliable. It has small size, which is very important for me. It's also great for tournaments because it doesn't take a lot of space on the desk, so you have more space for your mouse. Now, when it comes to the mouse, I'm using this beast. This is the Logitech G Pro Wireless, and I think, and even though I'm sponsored, I would say the same. This is the best mouse that I ever tried in my life. And it's super light, 79 grams. Uh, the battery life is like 60 hours or so. I can remember the last time I was charging it. Um, and yeah, and I'm using custom gliders on it just because I like to do that. Um, so yeah, the G Pro is something that I use in every single game. Before that, I was using actually a G903, which is a great mouse for basically any game, but apart from Fortnite right now, because it's just too heavy. I prefer a louder, lighter mouse for myself. Now, when it comes to the audio, I'm using a Logitech G uh, Series Pro uh, headphone. Just, you know, good stuff, good equipment, nothing to say. It's uh, overall, um, when it comes to the sound, the sound quality is balanced. It's not rich in bass, it's not rich in high tones or mid tones, so it's pretty good when it comes to like transferring what you want to hear, so it's not just artificially boosting any single frequency, which is great, at least for me, this is why I like it. It's also very uh, light, so when you spend a lot of time in front of the PC like I do, every single day, it's like minimum eight hours, um, it doesn't fatigue your head and your neck. And of course, the mouse pad, which is a big Logitech pad and yeah. I think, that, oh wait, we have still stuff to do. Obviously I'm using also cameras, uh, which are two currently. On the goosenecks behind the monitor, you can see the Logitech C920, which is a basic webcam for 1080p uh, transfer. It works well, and even in 60 FPS. This is my main camera. Uh, and then I have a second camera for a wide shot, which is the Logitech Brio, which is also on a gooseneck. Uh, and then I'm using that for different scenes. Uh, apart from that, I also have some small um, LCD lamps, LED lamps, sorry, that I use for lighting, and that's about it. That probably requires an up, uh, upgrade when it comes to the hardware, uh, to have better lighting available. And, uh, oh, right, and I'm using the Toby Gaming Eye Tracker, which is a great piece of equipment if you want to show your viewers what you're looking at at the screen, which is transferred in real time, and it's not, it's not something that many people do. I was doing it for a very long time, thinking about using it again for Fortnite to just show, you know, what you do, what, where, you, where you looking at in build fights and so on. And yeah, and then we are left, of course, with my gaming chair, which is the Maxonomics Need for Speed G2 edition, the second one. Pretty cool, comfy, you know, if you spend so much time as I do in front of the PC, you need a good chair. And I'm using, of course, the Elgato um, green screen. Obviously, it's just phenomenal, because what you have here is something that you can just pack in two seconds. As you can see, it's hidden inside this box. You just open it and you pull out the green screen 
it goes automatically up. You can just even do, you know, whatever height you need. It just stays at that point and it takes literally just two seconds to set it up. It's a perfect solution for every single streamer. So, thumbs up. I forgot to add that I also have below the desk here, right here, there's a cage for my dog. So he has like this uh, quiet place where he can just sit, you know, sleep, eat whatever he wants and uh, he's always close to me. So yeah, that's about it. And uh, thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys next time on my channel.